I remember the first time I heard you talking about the context of in light of my past circumstances, my current reality, my future hopes and dreams. It was like this light bulb of like, oh, wisdom's not just universal answer for every, like there's a contextual component to this of yes. based on yes. you, based on your based business, on your based past on, experience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want to hear more about when, when you're a business owner, and you're thinking about my business, my family, our plan, our team, you look around at best practices where we're sometimes drawn into becoming something that we're not supposed to do that maybe is wise for them, but it's not yeah. wise for us. How do we reconcile that, yeah. that tension we can feel around that? Well, you, I'm so glad you brought this up because it's not just what is the wise thing to do. It is in light of, to your point, in light of my past experience, in light of my, um, you know, in light of the fact that I've struggled with this in the past, in light of the fact that our, our, you know, our family has just come through this, in light of the fact that my family history sets me up for whatever it might be, in light of my past experience, in light of my current circumstances, what's going on right now emotionally, what's going right down right now financially, and then in light of my future hopes and dreams. And you're right, this way of thinking um, translates into organizational life in light of what's just what we've just been through organizationally um, a great example we're in the middle of it right now as companies small companies in particular as as small companies begin to emerge from the c culture of covid and all the things we can't do and all the things we're going to have to do different this this question is well, i think every good leader is asking some form of this question um you know, subconsciously, if not consciously, but we need to ask it out loud so that we can process it with our teams in light of what we've just come through, in light of what is going on right now, and then in light of our hopes and dreams for this company or this organization, you know, what is the wise thing for us to do? And um, we're all kind of blazing our own trails in a brand new in a brand new way because of what we've just come through mm -hmm. um, with the, with the pandemic. So it, this question is maybe more relevant than ever, and it's more specific to our current circumstances and our specific um, organizational um, context than maybe um, than ever before because we're all trying to figure this out. And again, uh, we're all learners. Le leaders are learners. So we're going to watch what everybody else is doing. But because this is such a unique season, um, I, you know, we're all going to be trailblazers in some capacity. And it really does come down to wisdom. It's not ethical. It's not moral. It's not legal. I mean, we're hopefully going to run our organizations yeah. within the context of what's legal, moral, and ethical. But wisdom, what is the wise thing to do? Um, it, there is certainly organizational yeah. um, application. Uh, well, I love the example and, and the season that we're in. I was just with Dave, our CEO and founder this morning, and we're planning next week, our executive committee will be doing our annual strategy session and I'll be facilitating. So I usually get with Dave and what are we going to work on? And the, the yeah. theme that bubbled up and, and Dave said it, we got to figure out what did we learn this year that we never want to forget in light of yeah. what we've been through. And what we've navigated, we saw, we saw yeah. some things that we're really proud of organizationally. We also saw some things that are like, oh, there are some cracks in the foundation we were kind of ignoring. We've got to shore those up. But in light of what we went through, how do we make sure that our mission carries forward and we don't ever forget these lessons? Because whoever gets hired yeah. next year wasn't here for this year and they're not yeah. going to know. And so we'll have to tell that story. Yeah, the, the way we're asking that question in our organization is how can we be better for it? How can mm. we be better for it? What do we leave behind? What do we carry forward? What have we learned that will inform us and make us better? But how can we be better for this personally? How can we be better for this organizationally? Um, because that's what every, every, every leader is asking that question at some level, because we know better than, hey, Let's just wait till things get back to normal. Leaders don't think that way. Neither do leaders think, well, as soon as we start back. Now, no, we're not going to start back. This is the opportunity for many of us to start over or at least to approach this next season as if we are starting over. Because, um, you know, it's that it's that whole first day mindset. You know, what did we do on the first day? How do we maintain that, that first day mindset? And this is an opportunity um, for many organizations to do that, especially the organizations that had to, in some capacity, shut down or reduce headcount or basically go to survival mode as they, you know, kind of come back out into the daylight and are able to operate again. It would be a shame just to go right back to what we were doing before and not take yes. uh, the lessons of this season forward with us. So I think a lot of people are asking that question. Mm -hmm.